everyone else last weekend. So this is the, uh, the Crossroads slot. Pilot Crafters Queen SX99. Receiver. With the R46B uh, speaker. The permanent location for the immediate future for the uh, meter, I gotta get it working right. Uh, worked out well indeed. And it's missing on light bulb. And I uh, haven't had a chance to do much with the HRO <laughs> yet, Harry, but uh, I did some investigation with it. Works it works well. So that's kind of an interesting rig. Um, the chassis is marked for 6 volt tubes. And then it was made, I've been we able can to, switch over. to really dig into its uh, serial number and its heritage. It was made sometime between February and April 1936. And, uh, and it is possible, based on the dating, because they were still offering 6 volt and, um, well, 6.3 and 2.5 volt filament tube lineups. At that time, it is possible that even though Switch the back. chassis is marked with uh, full tubes, that it was shipped from the factory with 2.5 volt tubes in it and um, and the appropriate power supply. In April, so there you go. That's the difference between James the, uh, Millen uh, was either SX a forced out of the company the, or B uh, S76 uh, encouraged to resign. And once he was gone, center fed dipole. National liquidated. Oh, it's up about. That antenna is up about uh, 50 feet. Up there at the top. One leg is going that way. And actually, the other leg is coming clear across here. In, uh, and that is the screen. Brief week about uh, about the left particular radio, and uh, so the next step is I have to get that meter working. Tubes and clean the, the socket.